<laughs> Hello everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes, and today I'm bringing you another Dollarama haul. Yep, I can't stay away. Uh, but I, in my defense, I have a lot of work to do, like real work uh, to do this week, and I, because I was so sick, I, and I'm still sick actually, but I think I'm well enough to get slowly back to work. Um, and, yeah, I just, I won't have a lot of time to go do more hauls or shoot haul videos. I really have to, uh, <laughs> yeah, do work. And I don't want to work all summer. I would like to take some time off. Uh, so, yeah, I got to I get this done. Had just put out a whole whack of really neat stuff uh, for uh, crafting and, well, not neat stuff, but they were had replenished a lot of their their stock and I wanted to share with you a few items that I bought and I thought well I talked to you about showing you how you can make art uh, on the cheaper or save you know save money for your art supplies uh, and that is the you know that is one way is by going checking out your dollar stores check out your dollar stores your, or your discount stores uh, here in Canada we have Dollar Tree we have Dollarama and I know that uh, I don't have any of the anything else besides Dollar Tree and Dollarama, but I know that I have friends who live in areas where they have a dollar plus store, a, a dollar ou deux, like a dollar or two, I think it's called, uh, uh, other stores in, in Canada. There's a whole bunch of other stores that I don't know about in Canada that are like dollar stores. So check those out. And in the U.S., my friends have Dollar Tree. They don't have Dollarama, but they have a whole slew of other dollar stores that we don't even have here in Canada. And you have, a, in the U.S., you also have other stores that are discount stores. So I'm saying to you, uh, don't be, don't be shy. Go check out those stores. If you're in search of art supplies, but you're on a very limited budget, um, then think outside the box. You, you can find some decent, Okay, uh, art supplies and craft supplies in other areas besides the uh, the big art stores. If you don't have the money, you really want to make art, you can. Okay, and not all these supplies that you find in the dollar stores and the discount stores are low quality. I am constantly surprised, happily. When I find I, I find gems, I find products sometimes in the dollar stores and the discount stores that are good quality and they do a great job. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's like, eh, you know, it's really intended for kids. It's and it's kind of you know, it's low quality. Yeah, there's a lot of that. But you know what? No offense to the big art stores and, and you know I love you because I work with you guys and I love it when you give me paid work but not every single product that you will find in a more expensive specialty art or craft supply store is top-notch quality they have um, bargain brands also, but they also have products that are not just bargains, they may be expensive, and they're crap. I'm sorry, but yes, not everything is the best. Just because you pay a lot of money for it doesn't mean it's always the best. It's usually a good indicator. Yes, that is true. But there are duds. So, and there are stores that hike up the prices on stuff because they can't. So, and they're, you know, they're not the best. So, it's, you know, watch reviews, read the reviews on online when you order stuff online, see what other people are saying. Try the stuff from the dollar stores. Watch me! <laughs> I'll let you know uh, what I find that's good and I, I'll share it with you. So something that's brand, brand new at um, the Dollarama I went to today, and they had a ton of these, were these 
Artist Series Sketching Set. Now, I have not tried them yet. I do not know what the quality is. But for $4, people, $4, you cannot beat that. For 4 bucks, you get this entire kit. It says it has nine pieces, and I'll tell you what those nine pieces are. I'll just read off the back and just show you what it looks like from the front. There's three sketching pencils, two charcoal pencils, a sharpener. Let's see it. The sharpener is here. Uh, eraser, little mannequin, and a pencil storage tube. Okay. Now the pencils. I'm gonna open it now so uh, you can you can see what kind of pencils are in inside here. Now again, this is the nine piece. Artists series sketching set for four dollars. I hope that this is it's, got, it's decent pencils. So four bucks for this. This is what it looks like on the back. Now inside has a little mannequin. I just I just got one of these from an art store, and this alone was more than four dollars. I can tell you that's how that's the the retail was more than four dollars so just a mannequin and okay the tube it's a little tough to open it this is the like a pencil case tube there we go it's just uh you know chipboard cardboard oh there was a bit of glue there nothing nothing too fancy this cardboard okay and a little plastic sharpener. Not too sure if it's a good quality blade or not, but it's a little plastic, cheapy pencil sharpener. Now, there's also an eraser. It's a white rubber eraser. It doesn't have a funny chemical smell. I'm going to test it here on my desk. It's erasing. Yeah, it's doing... This is, I'm, I'm just uh, erasing off my desk blotter here, and I've written with an HB pencil, but I was pretty heavy-handed. It does an okay job. Yeah, it does an okay job. And here we have, in the pencils, we have an HB, a 3B, and a 6B. Let me show you. Okay. So here we have the HB. Let's see. Just a regular pencil. It's um, that um, octagonal shape. And a 6B. So 6B should be very dark and soft. It is, it is slightly darker, um, slightly softer. I, I, for a 6B, this is not very soft for a 6 As soft as a high-end 6B would be. A 3B. The 3B is nice. The 3B is soft and nice. Funny, the 6B is not as soft as I thought it should be, but the 3B is good. So these are great. This is ex excellent for the beginner sketcher. You don't want to work with uh, H pencils or hard lead pencils at first when you're learning to sketch, you're practicing. These are great. And uh, two charcoal pencils. So these are fun too if you want to try charcoal, but you don't want to work with the messy charcoal sticks. So this one says there's a soft and a hard charcoal. charcoal. So excellent. It's a great little pack for uh, someone who's interested in trying out some sketching maybe this summer. And yeah, really, <clears throat> get everything you need, $4. Now because I saw this, so I saw this, that little sketching kit, and I really don't need more sketching kits, but I, I wanted to show it to you guys, so that's why I bought it. Um, and to go along with that, I went and bought another sketchbook because 
they have sketchbooks available at Dollarama. Now they have these really pretty sketchbooks for four dollars. I looked and looked. I doesn't say the number of pages in there, but uh, it is a very nice hardcover sketchbook. Uh, the spiral bound is really nice, and the paper is is excellent for drawing on. Um, you know, if you just oh, that's a terrible heart that I just drew, but it's you know it's it's good quality for drawing on with your pencils. Um, I'll show you with so it, it's perfect for pencil. It's great for charcoal as well. See if I have a pen here that I can try it on. So it's great for pen. It's very very nice for pen. So far it hasn't gone through. And let's see. Let's try it out with a. Uh, this is a a Stadler. This is a permanent. A dried up permanent pen. I didn't get this at Dollarama. I just, this is just something I had at home. Okay, and let's see about the Sharpie. Let's see how the Sharpie does through here. So this is a, a red, juicy, fairly juicy Sharpie. And, oops, sorry about that. Do you see that? Okay, so we've got um, some fine point permanent pen here. We've got the Sharpie red, um, <clears throat> and this was just a ballpoint pen and pencil, and there you go. There's your bleed through. Not much. And that's expect. it's expected from this kind of paper that there will be bleed through. If you're going to use permanent markers, this is not made for permanent ink markers that are juicy. It will soak through. But it's to show you that it's pretty good. It, this is, yeah. That's about it. There's just a little bit of seepage, but like I said, this is not intended for uh, watercolors or inks. It's a sketch book, so um, you could use a certain, some inks like ballpoint ink, fine, a fine point inks, um, and um, gel pens probably but not, you know, you don't go using Sharpies on there, expecting it not to show on the other side. So I got that, and I thought, well, that's a great way to start sketching. Uh, and then I saw these, this was new at that Dollarama, uh, the oil pastels of by Crayola. And the, there's 16 in here, and it's $3.50. I have never used... Crayola oil pastels before, but I was willing to give them a try because I thought Crayola is a good product, and they they of course they're very safe for kids and and such, but are they good for art making if you are just starting out? So I have to tell you this is extremely creamy, and let's see. It does smudge a bit, which is what you want with oil pastel. You do want smudging. That's um, it's a bit more waxy than oily. Uh, so these are great for your color. I prefer an oilier pastel, honestly, for artwork. But you do get smudging. You are able to get some... And that you do want that with um, oil pastel. So it's not bad. If you want to practice with hard pastel, check out the Crayola. Definitely perfect for kids who want to work with pastel and are used to crayons. Um, yeah, they're, they're supposed to be oil-based, but I for kids, they're perfect for people who are just dabbling with pastels. Sure, they're good. Now the other thing I found was probably might be a good deal were this set of 12 gel pens. The reason I purchased these ones is because the brand Leisure Arts 
and I don't remember how much these were. Uh, I believe these were four dollars. If I was in, if I'm incorrect, I will show the correct price on the screen. I'll go find the bill and and tell you. So these twelve gel pens from Leisure Arts. I love their gel pens. Uh, they've given so many to me and I love them and I've bought so many from them because I really like them. Yeah, they write really well. So smooth. This is the black one. And this is the yellow one. Very nice. Not scratchy. Flows nicely. Yeah. Um, I find these so far very, very nice. I haven't tested all, all 12, obviously, but because I'd be here for much longer. But um, yeah, so the Leisure Arts 12 gel pens at Dollarama. I think they're a good deal. And again, this sketchbook of $4. My favorite of their sketchbooks is the one that is a black cover. It's all black. It's slightly bigger all around. It is also spiral bound. And it has 80 pages. And that paper is nice and smooth. This one has a bit of texture. So depending on what you prefer, if you want a little bit of texture, and then this is a great paper for you. If you want really smooth, then go for the one with the black cover. And they're both they're both four dollars. So those are the art supplies I found today uh, at Dollarama, and I just had to share that with you. I hope that you enjoyed this. And I did find oh, I'm just going to add this because I was mentioning that I couldn't find any more of the tough and clear um, pockets anywhere and this Dollarama had a box a box of these big ones uh, eight and a half by eleven and these are 25 cents a piece or four for one dollar so I was really happy to find them because that same store had told me an employee at that store had told me when I asked are you ever gonna get more of these had told me nope when they're gone they're gone and Another employee at another store told me when I asked the same thing, I asked the same question, that employee said, no, we'll get more as soon as they see they're, they're low, they order more for us. They send us more. However, at that store, another employee said, nope, you got to be here when they're here because after that, we don't have any more. So... <laughs> Just saying, I don't know uh, if the employees are not given the full information or they're not given the correct information and they are passing that us that along to the customer. But you know, it's it I just I'm trying to I'm just trying to tell you it's worth going back and checking yourself because mistakes are made. You know, people will make honest mistakes, so that's that. And so that is that for my small uh, art supply Dollarama haul. I did buy other things, you know, a cat litter. Uh, I did buy some a few other things, but they're boring, and they're my usual purchases, you know, the cat litter. Uh, I have a couple bags of licorice and um, garbage bags for my kitchen. I mean, really. So now those are things you've seen me haul before, and you can see that in the other videos. But I really wanted to share the art supply stuff with you right now. So uh, that's it. It's a really short and sweet, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up. Please like, comment, and share. And I hope to see you after the next haul. Bye!